Creating a sacred space for meditation is great to take your spiritual practice to another level. Watch this video to learn how to create a spiritual altar. techniques for total wellness be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell to be notified when i post a video every sunday creating an altar can really intensify your ability to manifest by the end of this video you know exactly how to create a spiritual altar in your home or when traveling my altars has allowed abundance to flow in my life easily and more quickly if you'd like to learn my simple steps to creating a sacred space keep watching first thing you want to do is choose a place that is easily accessible and away from any distractions the preferred place would be a private room if you don't have a private room you can use your bedroom or a walk-in closet it's most important to keep it away from a place that people are going to easily see it and be around it this is your sacred space and you want to keep it away from outside energies the second tip is to have a place for you to set up your altar. I recommend a small table or a bookshelf. It's recommended to use natural material like wood or glass, but for me, I went to Walmart and bought a $10 wood looking table and I started my altar on that. Other things you can use is your nightstand table or if you have a dresser, just move things over to the side and have that one little area. So you don't have to go out and purchase anything. You can use what you have. Next, you want to make sure you have all the elements that you need for your altar. You want to make sure before placing anything on your altar, it is cleansed and cleared from any past energies. You want to have the five elements, water, air, fire, earth, and spirit. There are different things you can use for each element that represents it, but I like to use an incense for air, a candle for fire, crystals for earth, a cup of water for water, and spirit, I prefer to use my ancestors. You can use any spiritual element, a picture of your ancestors, a picture of Jesus, words written out on the paper that represents a spiritual being for you, anything you choose. Comment down below if you've created a sacred space and let me know how it works for you. Giving an offering is an important aspect of altar work. Offerings that you can give is food that you've cooked from the night before, rice, corn, fruits. This is considered an energy exchange with the spirit world and the physical realm. It is not recommended to show your personal altar space, so I created one for you guys. Here, this comes directly from my altar. It is a selenite plate with my crystals that I use for the earth element. Next, for the air element, you can use an incense, a feather, a bell, sage, and sage your area and your space. And you can sage yourself. Next, I have the water element, which I use in a copper cup, which is great for attracting. For the fire element, I have a candle. For the spirit element, I have a picture of myself as a child with a big smile on my face. And this always reminds me to work on that inner child and get back to that innocent place. I also have a list of my ancestors' surname and my ancestors that I know name on it. I have a Ankh, which represents spirit, God.
And then last but not least, I have my offering, which is a on a glass plate, and it's an apple and banana. Once I cleanse my space, I take a moment to connect with spirit and meditate in my sacred space. The next tip I have for you is to use your altar or sacred space daily. Using the space daily helps to build energy so it can really work in your favor. Consistency is key. Altar work is a great tool to use to manifest more quickly and to clear blockages. I had been interested in creating the altar for a while before I did it. And when I ordered the book, Sacred Woman by Queen Afua, first gateway was to create an altar. That's when I made the decision to create my altar space. This book contains so much good information. It is about women in their womb, but men can read this book as well. This is a great book. You can purchase it on Amazon or directly through her website, Queen Afua. Now that you know exactly how to create your sacred altar space, stay tuned for my next video on a full moon ritual to get us in alignment with our new moon goals and intentions. If you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. I appreciate each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, remember, change starts in your mind. You change your mind and you change your whole life. Thank you so much.